What's my mother name? What's up guys, KW175 back with another Pokemon Duel video and we are going to get into the Dark Gym. The Dark Gym is in full effect guys, 1 MP to the Dark Types, plus 20 attack power to the Fairy Types and we're basically going to have 4 full days. Uh, you have all day on the 22nd, 23rd, 24th and the 25th and the gym will be ending early on the 26th, 8, well 7.59 UTC. Uh, it's going to be in the morning. It's like 3 a.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time for me. So basically four days. So, you know, it's going to be safe to say you're going to want to get at least, you know, seven, eight wins a day. And make sure that, you know, you're getting all the achievement rewards. And, um, you know, you want to try to give yourself as many chances as possible by opening those win boosters. Try to pull an EX. It's been since the bug gym since I've got an EX pull. So hopefully we can get an EX pull. Uh, this gym quite a few rewards I think there's a total of a hundred Carmenite a couple booster tickets uh, like 50 gems we're gonna get the haunch crow which is gonna be pretty decent I think in the gym at a 3 MP and you know a decent amount of gold mm, you know the call I mean it's gonna be a decent dodge you know but 120 in an attack and if you're running any Veltal and you get a couple dark mist this thing could be pretty powerful it's not going to be bad at all in the gym. Generally, the you know gym exclusive figures that you can get are going to be you know best in the gym that they're obtained in, and not so much in league. We are going to get another EX cube. I feel like you know EX cubes are just like everywhere anymore. Like no matter what you do, like an EX cube is pretty much going to be uh, a reward, and you know they don't. I mean they they're still great. They're still great, but I mean with some of the new Pokemon. You know, I, you really do need the X cubes if you want to run older Pokemon. So I just wanted to kind of take a look at some of the top ranked players here. So definitely running this Zorark Rush deck. And he went with the 99-111 as well. So feel like I definitely made a good decision going that way. <laughs> More Deoxys. You know, it seems like people have been running this, but... Uh, like, you know, maybe Fodder's video with the Cosmo Energy 2.0 gave more people the idea because it, it really is a good good idea. It was definitely something that I, I was considering. I wasn't thinking so much of, you know, running two Deoxys speed form with two Zorark. Uh, I just figured, you know, you could kind of rush out there as a rush deck. But yeah, those Deoxys speed form, really good synergy with the Zorark. I wish I had two Zorark. I would definitely try it out. I only have one speed form though. But, um, you know, some Sableye, those things are pretty insane. So if you have any Veltal, you definitely want to be running it on the team so you can stop those Sableye, and you probably want to have at least one Fairy-type, whether it's going to be Coco, Magirna, uh, something that's a Fairy-type that can stop Tapu Coco. Yeah, you want to be able to stop Coco because uh, your Veltal is not going to get it done. So we are going to jump into a match, guys. I only have time to play one match. Hopefully we can win because it always feels good to start off the gym with a win. You know, it just never feels that great whenever you start off with a loss. But it's going to be totally possible. Uh, you know, who knows what kind of player deck we're going to get up. Uh, okay, so we got Dom. Looks like he lost his first match, so that feels bad. But he's got two Sableye, Veltal, and uh, Coco with a Zapdos. And he's got the Keldeo. I don't know about that. I mean, yeah, it's going to, you know get a buff from the dark types but i don't know it, it's not that good of a buff it, it's really not i don't think it's gonna be i don't think it's worth running but the hydro kick can come in clutch so we are gonna start off with the steel energy to get that magirna into a punishing terminating machine because that thing can do 160 damage with both steel energy and the metal sphere and then the uh dazzling gleam still hits for like 118 it's only going to get a plus 10 on the Dazzling Gleam. We're going to get a plus 20 on the Fleur Cannon with both the plates. Uh, I'm going to block the Sableye off. Might as well just go with my Velto. Normally, I would just bring out my Sableye with the gold. But uh, I don't know. Let's try to switch it up a little bit. Let's just see how this plays out. Because he can't pass us. And if he wants to attack, we could switch into the Zorark. But I don't really like the Zorark matchup either. I mean, we could hit our damage into his gold, our gold into his purple, which is, you know, even less likely because since it is a level 10 and I decreased the gold as far as I could. Okay, so he's going to bring his other Sableye out. So 
I think what I should do, he's got one chain on it. Looks like he's expanded it. We got a bigger gold. We got more chains. Let's go with the Sableye. We're going to go with the Sableye. Now, if he wants to bring his Coco in and then attack the Velto or the Sableye, we will definitely switch into the Zoroark. He's got the counter attack. We're definitely not going to be falling for that. Watched way too many Giggity Gaming's uh, videos to, to fall for the counter attack. I don't think I've... I haven't fallen for that counter attack in quite some time, so... Um, we can always switch, but I'm going to bring out the Cabalion. I'll bring the Cabalion out. And... Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have, because like I said, I can always switch to the Zoroark, but... I don't know, it's not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. And if he has any plans of attacking the Develto, he's going to have a surprise coming for him. Um, I could put my Sableye on my bridge, I think would be a decent play. Yeah, let's do that. Put the Sableye there, and then, um, then we'll probably just try to get some defense on the back line. Okay, we're, you know, a little bit behind on time. I definitely don't want to get too far behind. But I probably will, because... Um, okay, well, I cannot block him off. He's going to be able to take the entry point. Now, we're not going to be able to surround him because of the ability. You know, ghost types are not able to pass through him. Which, the uh, the cool thing is, is we can actually pass through our Oni Veltal. So, if I uh, click on Sableye, you know, see, I can go through my Veltal, which is pretty nice. But uh, I cannot go through his. So, my Magirna can definitely knock out the Veltal, um, but I think I'm going to double chance my Sableye. Now, if we lose this, it's going to kind of suck, but, you know, he's not able to pass our Sableye from where he's at anyway, and because we have the Veltal, so we have a huge gold. We should be able to win this. Oh, my God. Okay, he hits the gold. Ugh. Okay, come on, Sableye. Hit that gold. Oh, my God. Of course. Wow. Okay, that kind of sucked. But that's RNG for you, man. I mean, <laughs> you know, even the roles you feel like you should be winning, like the matchups, they don't always work out. That's okay. That's definitely not going to lose us the game or anything. But now we have a lot of pressure. Um, we could try to get this Evelto out of there. Dude. Like, I can beat it right now. Oh my god, and he gets the Dark Mist. Okay. Alright, well, we're not going to be able to attack that Evelto again until we play the Metal Sphere. I'm going to have to get that Metal Sphere down on my Cabalion. And, yeah, we're going to have to get rid of that Evelto. We definitely have to get rid of that thing. Because he's got Sableye and he's got the Caldeo in line. Okay, he's coming down with the Zapdos. Alright, I think I'm going to have to double chance. I'm going to have to use my other double chance in attack. Because I want to get a knockout. Like, I'm not so much worried about us getting knocked out. Like, I want to get this thing knocked out right now this turn. Okay, and he hits a miss. That's a huge miss. Uh, I guess, yeah, that's definitely a lower level Zapdos. Really no chains. Not a, any Carmenite into it. Unless it got, like, reset or something and he never reset it. But, it, I mean, it does have one chain in it, so... Uh, I don't know. Yeah, that was a pretty big miss. Okay, so... He's threatening game. I could either move the Magirna on the goal or the Sableye, which I'm going to go with the Sableye because I want to be able to attack that Eveltal. Hopefully, the thing's not going to hit another Dark Mist because that would be super annoying. Really annoying. And I could see him coming with the Coco. Yeah, he's going to come with the... Are you going to attack? Yeah, all right. Let's switch into the Zorark. Come on, Zorark. Hit that cross counter. Boom. Yeah, get Wreck Coco. You didn't see that coming. Look at that. 118 damage coming out of that Coco. That's pretty insane for a 3 MP that can pass through most figures. It's pretty insane. All right. Um, yeah, we got to go ahead. We got to go with the Metal Sphere. I'm going to put the Metal Sphere down. And to be honest, I don't want to attack that Caldeo because... Even if I knock it out, if it hits the Hydro Kick, we're going to get benched. That Sableye is going to take the entry point, and then we're going to lose our uh, our Metal Sphere. So, 
I definitely do not want that happening. We need to attack this Evelto. We got to get a knockout on our next turn. He's going to max revive coming back out with the Zapdos. Okay, that is totally fine. I'm going to go ahead and attack with the Magirna. Come on, Magirna. Lay it to him. Lay it to him. Lay it to him. Yes, that was almost a miss, guys. Let's go. And Flurkin at 161, dude. Get wrecked. That's a monster, dude. Magirna is a monster in this gym. If you guys have Magirna, like, if you guys have this deck loadout, I highly recommend you put it to, like, put it together, put it to good use. Oh, wow. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, and we're going to hit the cross counter into the Shadow Sneak, and we're going to be able to move right up, take that entry point. Yeah, this deck has been doing wonders for me, guys. Um... It really has. Like, you know, I played a few games in the Orbiter Hall. I didn't lose any. Uh, a few matches that you guys seen. And uh, this is going to be my first match. And I feel like it's doing pretty well. Doing pretty well. I'm going to move up with the Cabalion. Now, I could see him move, moving defensive with the Coco. And I'm going to take the entry point and attack that Zapdos. Yep. Okay, yeah. Because he does not want to get surrounded. And there's pretty much no punish for us attacking here. Boom. And we're going to get a knockout. Look at that, Cobalion, 120 damage with the Swords of Justice. Beautiful. Like, we <laughs> we turned this thing around completely. That was, that was pretty awesome. It was nice that we were able to get the knockout on that Sableye. I'll admit that was, that, that could have went a different way. We could have got confused, we could have got burned. Ooh, and he's not able to get the Hydro Kick off. Feels bad, bro. Feels bad. All right, so I think we're going to go ahead and take Ari Veltal, put a little pressure up here, and if he wants to move that Coco, we're going to be able to swoop right in for a surround. Ooh, okay. Um, we have goal block, but there's no reason to risk it. One more turn. I mean, we're in a great position. That Coco is going to have almost zero chance of knocking out our Cobalion or our Zorark, though if we hit our gold attack on the Cobalion, we could definitely get knocked out. But as long as we hit dodge or swords of justice, we're pretty good. Um, the Coco could attack our Zorark, though. I mean, is, if we hit anything but cross counter, he could knock us out. Okay, he's going to go for the Cabal. Come on, dodge. Or swords. There we go. Swords of justice. Uh, you definitely don't want to take that respin, my dude. No, I guess he does. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. I don't know what you were hoping for, dude. Like, you got the lucky roll. Because you were hoping that we were going to spin gold. We didn't. I don't know why you would respin. That's going to be GG, man. Nothing he can do. Oh, my. You're going to rage quit, bro. <laughs> Come on, Dom, dude. He's Dude, that's like... Yeah, I get, I get pretty ticked off at RNG, too, man. It's RNG. You can't be mad at the player. You can't be mad at the game. Or, I mean, you can't be mad at yourself. You can be mad at the game, though. But... You, know, you don't take it out on the other player, guys. Don't take it out on the other player. So that is going to wrap up, I think, this video, guys, for the most part. Um, uh, 28 points. We got our first win. Not too bad. I definitely like this deck, though. This deck has been doing pretty well. It's got speed. It's got mobility. It's got power. Um, you know, it's even able to, you know, with the Zora arc, you, with that cross counter, it doesn't matter how much damage the enemy is putting out with the round decks, with the Altaria, it doesn't matter. Zora arc is a complete monster. As of right now, in this moment of time, I am not regretting crafting him at all. Magirna, I love Magirna in this gym, and I probably might run it in League even. I mean, it's still really good, and being able to tag those curse markers is awesome. Cobalion with a, you know, plus 20 on that Swords of Justice, 120 is pretty good. And being able to negate any gold attack, we have a lot of purple, you know, between the two Sableye and the Veltal. So, um, this deck is, is pretty good, and definitely shout out to Care Bear. Um, you know, me and him love to talk about decks and stuff in the DMs on Twitter. So, um, yeah, it, it, this is kind of, this is like our deck. He, he left a comment. He's like, you're running my deck. I'm like, it's our deck because, you know, we're kind of like deck buddies, right? But, uh, yeah, guys, let me uh, let me know what kind of deck you came up with, if it's anything similar, anything different. Do you have two Zorark? Have you been trying the Dio Speed, the Cosmo Energy 2.0? Um, definitely curious to see how that's going to turn out if I go up against that, but hopefully we don't. 
and you guys know I'm going to be trying to go for that 11 win streak, hopefully. Uh, we got four in a row right now, so this would be a fifth one in a row if we can get it. But guys, that's going to be it for this one. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss my next video. Follow me on Twitter if you haven't already. And until the next one, later guys.